month initiative with the United Way called Putting Rochester First. We are placing the spotlight on local organizations which need your help. Leah Lando spoke with Scott Pukos about how the pandemic has impacted Rochester's Little Theater. All right, joining us now for this Putting Rochester First Monday, Scott Pukas with the Little Theater. Thank you so much for taking time out of your morning for us, Scott. Thanks for having me. Let's talk about how things have changed due to COVID-19 for the Little. Yeah, things have uh, changed quite a bit. Uh, we, we've been closed now, temporarily closed for uh, for over four months, which is a very long time for any business, especially an art house theater. Uh, but we're doing our best to try to continue to bring the little experience to people, uh, just bring it to their homes rather than them coming to us. Uh, so we're offering a lot of virtual programming, virtual movies uh, to rent through our website. Uh, we are streaming virtual musical performances uh, through our Facebook and YouTube channels uh, and still doing discussions too through both Facebook and YouTube. So we're, we're trying to do all the stuff that uh, we normally offer at the little, just offering it in a in a virtual capacity. What do you think the future of the little looks like at this point? <laughs> well, that's, that's, it's really hard to say. I, I think you know we we've, we've done a really good job at being uh, creative, innovative, and uh, adaptable in this time, um, and we're going to continue to do that. And I, I think we're um, I think you really have to be flexible uh, during. Pretty much any period, but especially this, where it's unpredictable, we don't really know what's next. Um, so we'll we'll adapt to whatever challenges are, are ahead, and we'll we'll make sure to offer we'll make sure to be creative, so we can offer something uh, that is worthwhile to this awesome film community. Yeah, because a lot of people look forward to that. Uh, what do you want folks to know uh, if they are looking to get involved with the little? Um, so there are ways that you can support the little um, throughout this time while we are temporarily closed. Uh, one way is to become a member at the little, so uh, at the little.org slash membership. Uh, you can do that. Becoming a member really helps us out a lot. There's also a lot of perks that come with it, uh, including free movies. Uh, you can donate through our website. And of course, you can still watch movies and listen to music. Uh, we have the virtual little, so we have a full lineup of movies that would normally be playing at the little uh, so documentaries is part of our one take series like we have one on john lewis right now screening we have one that focuses on the aclu called the fight which is a really terrific movie uh so we have all these street they're available to rent at the little.org uh sometimes when i tell people we have virtual movies they're like what does that mean it, it's kind of a jargon type term yeah. uh, but basically all it I mean, on our website, we have a list of links, and you can click it, and then the movie is available to rent. Um, on each uh, each site, each movie has clear instructions of how to rent the movie, how to stream the movie on your TV. You can do it through Roku, Apple TV. There's a bunch of different options. So it's pretty easy to use, um, and a lot of really good movies out there that you know I, people have been focusing on movie theaters being closed. But there's still a lot of good new movies being released in this format through the virtual cinema. Uh, the Little was one of the first uh, theaters in the country to actually adapt and to the virtual cinema. I believe we were one of the first 11. Um, so we, we try to be on top of the trend, make sure we can offer the, the best movies available. That's great. All right, thank you so much, Scott. I did check it out. I checked out your website. You have a lot of great options. So thank you so much for taking time out of your morning for us. Yes, thanks for having me. And to learn more about The Little, head to rochesterfirst.com and how you can support the United Way and other organizations. We have information for you there as well. All right, Leah. And to add to that, here's a graphic with some uh, ways you can help. Text ROCHESTERFIRST to 41444 or visit rochesterfirst.com.